Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our invasion of the Alliance of Rehi. If you remember, they kicked our butts in a fleet engagement earlier, but now we are getting back at them. We are attacking them from the south, the Ortega battle clans are attacking them from the north, and they are squeezed between us as we get revenge. And hopefully soon we will crack open their, their, their defenses and feast on the juicy, juicy aliens that live inside. Let's continue our attacks. Our fleet is up here attacking. We have some extra ships coming in. Uh, we are building more fleets in the background. In fact, you can see here... Oh, we've got our second group of armies. I've recruited extra armies here in Asha Prime. Because I'm hoping that once we take this, we might be able to... Oh, they're trying it again. They're doing this again. I'm gonna... No, don't attack them. They're trying to build this wormhole here every time. They're trying to attack us. We're just going to get rid of that. Complete. Ooh, gigantic skeleton. We've been doing research on anomalies as well. So, What was previous thought, previously thought to be a sordid mountain in the southern hemisphere been identified as a massive skeletal. This is exactly the same thing as the other skeleton that jumped through space, through a, through a warp. Situation log updated. Okay. Where was that? Was that here? Research that project, I guess. It's going to tell us the same thing. A giant alien showed up. Oh, we explored a lot of space. I didn't even realize. A giant alien is going to show up. That a giant alien came through a dimensional portal. Like, this is not new news to us. Um, what we are going to do, though, is... We're going to wipe out this... Because I'm tired of them building these. And I think they're building it here because they're trying to invade us and they have to have a warp point because they use warp technology. I'm sorry, wormhole technology as opposed to our warp drives. So it's causing them trouble invading us. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the fleet and I am going to leave one little dude right here so that if they do send that stupid constructor here again, uh, he just gets killed. I, I, he just won't be able to stay in the system to build it. So, meantime, we will send the rest of the fleet over here. You. To here. There we go. All right, what's been going on up here? We finished some research. What research? Field modulation. We can now build the power plant too. Modulated fields allow for increased production and improved energy yield. How about some new research? Ooh, planetary shields. Ooh, that's a unique research. Always take the unique researches. That has been my... That has been my call. The point defenses would help us in our war currently, but... We're fine without it for right now. We'll get it later. What the point defenses do is they destroy incoming missiles, so they would have been useful fighting the Rehi. But I don't think the Rehi are going to give us much trouble. We're still checking out systems. Here's some of that dust. In fact, since we discovered that dust, have we found dust anywhere inside our own home systems at all? No. Nowhere has that magic dust except for right there. Fetheran dust. It increases our food output. Huh. Well. Tempting, but we're starting to stockpile food again, so not as big a deal. Uh, let's continue to build our Corvettes. Let's not forget about those. And let's go back down here to see what's happening on this bombardment. We are slowly wiping out there's fortifications. We have to wipe those out before we invade the planet. And we have another tradition available. So what do we want to do? Well, we're in a lot of wars. So what's going to help us? So war here. The war demand cost to subjugate other empires reduced by 25%. What about supremacy? Border range by 20%. And our ships will fire faster. What's in here? 
Army damage increases, sea planet war demands, ships build faster and increase naval capacity, admiral skills increased, unity increased per neighboring rival. Okay. Harmony, what's that do? That's all spiritual stuff, but our leader would live longer. Happiness. Mining stations are reduced. Terraforming costs reduced. I say we go for supremacy. We are at war. Let's let's commit. We are expansionist and supremacist. Supremist? Is that the term? Anyway, we're doing some work here. Construction complete. Is this science ship really just oh he's bopping in and out so we can see what's happening? That's fine. Alright, so what else we got going on? We're stopping this nonsense permanently by leaving a fleet here. Special project complete. Ooh. Yeah, again, this is the same thing we already saw. He passed through a gateway from another dimension and died. I mean, it's cool that we get some bonuses. Uh, and all that, but, eh. I mean, we need the science. Uh, where is that science ship at? You were over here. What is not yet? We can't check these out. But we can start surveying this stuff. I like doing it in big blocks. That's a cool looking star. Alright, so that'll be going. Some stuff for him to do while we are doing our war over here. Making our war. This is almost done. System survey complete. Have they conquered this yet? No, they didn't take it over. They ran away. I wonder if they have another fleet we don't know about yet. They might. We have to watch out that another fleet doesn't show up here. That could be their science ship just over and over again, or it could end up being something else. And it could be that they can't do much because Incoming of us. Transmission. Ooh, somebody wants peace. Peace offer. Merciful aspects of the great mucus have prevailed. We offer you peace on these terms. A uh, no? On the terms of you give us nothing? That is not an acceptable peace offer. At all. Like... Oh. Wait, who's not moving? Oh, you're not moving. You you are, well, you've been busy over here, buddy. You are a surveying machine. But yeah, we're not going to accept your peace offer just because suddenly you're in big trouble. We're rearming. And our fleets are only getting bigger and bigger. Like, why would we even think of accepting that offer? I don't think so. Uh, where is that little Corvette fleet we set up here? There we go. Combine those fleets together. Almost done. Yep, you can, you can keep warping in and out of here. We're taking this planet. Uh, more ships, please. Thank you. This planet is going to be ours. I don't care what you say or what you think. This is, this is becoming us. Alright. Service is almost gone. Almost gone. Construction complete. There we go. We're going to land our armies. At least one of our armies is in invasion. Their forces are half wiped out. Oh yeah, look at this. Enemy planet secured. We took their planet. Woo! All right, and look at our war score. Hugely increased from that. So what do we have on the surface here? We have populations occupied, therefore will produce nothing. That's fine. We're going to take that from them in a bit. So I don't need this fleet here anymore. Let's move this fleet north. 
Ooh. Oh, no you don't. Are you trying to take this planet? How many armies do you have in here? You brought two armies and they have two fully healthy armies. So they might fight this off. I hope they do because I want to take it instead. So let's move our fleet to here. Let's move this army from Ash to Prime. We're gonna... We're gonna launch... Um... These guys. I want to... I want to break this fleet up. I uh, know... That's what I want. I want five of them transport fleet six. I want to move here as well. Okay. In transport fleet seven, I want you to get back down to the planet. Uh, System survey complete. Orbit the planet. And then land those armies. We're gonna need more assault armies. Okay, back to what's actually matters. We're not here to cause trouble, we're friends. System survey complete. Lots of system surveys are happening, which we expect. We'll check that out later. Oh, get rid of this. Thank you. I'm hoping they don't actually take this planet. I'm hoping they just go away. Oh, they're landing armies. Oh, please fail at this. Please fail. Where's our transport fleet? There it is. Okay. We need to watch this. I'm hoping they fail. Come on. Come on. Come on, rehize. You can do this. There we go. All right. Can I do this without causing an international's I'm going to save. I don't I haven't save scummed in this game for anything yet, but uh, we're going to save in our war save. Um I just don't know if we'll be able to land or not. Or if this is going to cause a war with our our, our friends. It shouldn't. I should be able to just land, right? Because they've been System bombarding this planet. Complete. Like, if Situation I land... Updated. All right, we have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Conviob system. These strange objects have been flagged as the Omicron aliens until we learn more about them. That's if interesting. Hostile fleet. But we have a problem. What are we evading? Oh! It's an alien space station. What is this? The Omicron aliens are scary. All right. They have got a giant fleet of ships that have pirate skulls on them. That doesn't bode well for us. Where is this? Oh, this is way out here. Okay. They're far away from the M from the Great Mucus. Why has a ship showed up here? Oh, they have a science vessel. I don't care about a science vessel. We're occupying their planets. I'm interested to see what happens here. Am I going to be able to land my armies? I did. Alright, so my armies got in there. So do we own this? Will we own this? Is this going to work? Oh, Alpha Prime. You need to be... How many armies do you have? One, two... Three, four, five. We need five assault armies at Alpha Prime, please. Are we gonna are we gonna take this? Enemy planet secure. We got it! Are they gonna stop bombarding us? Yes. That was awesome. So we snuck in there, right as their army left, and we took the planet. Look at that! That worked out so well. That worked out perfectly. 
Okay. System survey complete. So let's find out what we need to do. Let's follow. Well, what's going on here? Oh, their fleet has no no fleet strength. But let's see if we can take this at the same time. Alpha Prime is building fleets. I need somebody else to build fleets. I mean, assault armies too. Because we need more armies. That's going to be the next thing to keep track of. So, Tibor Prime is building us some additional armies as well. Okay, we showed up. They've got a little 297 fleet, which is leaving. We're going to start bombarding here. Again, Tibor Prime. One. Another one. That's two. Are we bombarding? There we go. Oh, wait, we can't. They it's under it's under occupation. Oh, it's all down to here. Okay, what's here? What is here? A bunch of fleets that are medium in size. I don't know where that 400 strength fleet that they had went. Okay, let's get our fleets to join up together here. Let's take out this warp point. Asha Prime is almost done building its invasion armies. This is going to be the problem. Is the fact that that space station they have is so strong that's gonna be a problem uh, someone leveled up our scientists did that's fine Azure Prime finished its troops so let's move those in here let's stage them uh, embark them all let's stage them here Tibor Prime, give me a couple more assault armies, and we are going to need more ships, I think. System survey complete. Scientists are leveling up. Yeah, I think we're going to need more, because I don't think... Oh. I need you all to come together, please. Everybody go here. Um, I don't think we have enough to take the home their home planet. Oh, what is this? All right, we got to go take care of that little mini fleet here in a second. I need everyone to join the same fleet. Yes, all ships in the one fleet. And then I need this fleet to make its way down here and chase this little whiny fleet away. Yeah. You guys should have just... Should, should have left. You shouldn't have been here. Woo! Yeah, we're just gonna... System survey complete. Wipe them out. Situation log updated. Anomaly found. What just happened? Okay. Your victory is only yet another test of our faith. In the end, the true Pervivers will prevail. The best possible outcome. Did we just win the war? You have won this war with the following demands. Seed us all these planets. Okay. We found an anomaly. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look almost like writing. Go ahead and research that. Did they just... Ha! Well, that just changed our empire greatly. Holy moly. All right. Woo. Well, we have also seen the fleet strength of these guys right here. So that's a problem. And look at our food. <laughs> oh, we are consuming people like crazy. All right. So our empire just got giant, folks. We have won that war. 
their tasty flesh is ours at the rate of 144 food a turn a month. Oh, I can't believe we actually won that. I thought we were... I didn't realize it just all happened at once. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. We have a negative balance. We're losing energy credits. We'll figure that out in a minute. We have a time project, probably where some fleets were. Uh, unrest, at least one of our planets suffers from unrest, probably. Too many colonized systems. Oh, we'll fix that too. We're losing 30% of our output because of it. Unemployment. We have unemployed pops that don't really matter because they're being turned into food, probably. Yeah, it's all this stuff. It's all being turned into food. Who cares? Uh, we have inactive buildings. Uh, we finished surveying a system. We've won the war. And we are uh, found that anomaly that that guy is investigating. So, wow! Whoa! I'd, I'm surprised we won that. I am, I am amazed. All right, let's take stock of our situation. Let's slow everything down before anything happens and this all goes wrong again. Because remember, last time our empire changed, we had a big problem. So the great mucus has oozed its way over into this part of space, which means we have to be careful about the hedges right here. Let's look at space. How do people feel about us? The Uruxo Collective, uh, they think we're a threat, so that's the biggest problem. Terror bombing. Oh, whoops. People are upset about us bombing people. Uh, how are we at here? These guys are militaristic. They are somebody we should be careful about. They are friends. A non-aggression pact. Man, I wish we could sign it. We need to sign a non-aggression pact with the Ortega Battle Clans, I think. Because uh, the Urexo Collective has a defensive pact. So until they break that, we can't really do much. Uh, they have a problem with the Hajims as well. Okay. And then, oh yeah, we have these two little... There's us. Oh, look at us. We're so awesome. Um, and then we have these, this little civilization that we haven't conquered yet because we can't use their planet in any way that's useful. Alright, so. What's that mean for us? Well, it means that we've got some populations that are have a bit of unrest, but that's okay. Uh, it means that we need to go ahead and before we seed this over to another... Because the AI apparently can't figure out how to handle this since it's free. So I'm going to wipe all of those out. Let's see also if we can resettle populations to Burga. So to Bor Prime, uh, if I take this population, I go to resettle him and I go to Burga. Can they live here? Can we live on Burga? No, we can't live on Burga. So we're going to eat the people, and then the planet's going to disappear. So Burga is useless to us. Alright. Yaldera. Can we live on Yaldera? No, we can't live on Yaldera. So we're going to eat the people of Yaldera we're gonna clear everything too while we're here might as well because if we ever find a way to take this back and colonize it we'll want it cleared off alright so Yaldera is gonna disappear oh we own all this stuff now? We got a new space station because of that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, tell me that we can live somewhere. Tell me that we can live here. No. 
We can't live here, so we're going to lose this. So we can't live on any of the planets that we took over. Well, that's upsetting. Is there any way? No, we need... We either need some kind of terraforming technology or something. Because right now, this is just going to be food. But we're not going to get anything from it. Being a hive mind and not being able to do much here is kind of upsetting. Huh. Uh, species list. We can't modify them. We need the gene tailoring technology. Don't we have that? Aren't we... Isn't there somewhere that we are researching that? Gene modification, yes, but that is many years away. That's Vitality Booster, so we can't do this. We have the Omicron aliens, let's research that. I just noticed we are no longer getting our bonus here. Let's pay them their their money. I want to communicate with you. Yes. Oh, 2,000 credits. It's more expensive now. Alright. Continue to let them pay. help us research to keep the great mucus on the forefront of technology. But beyond that... Yes, I know we're losing 10 a month, but we have, you know, a huge re a huge backlog of this. So all of these planets are just going to go to food. And until then, it's a waste. So what we really need to do is we need to create a new sector. What we need to do is we need to launch... Oh, we'll leave our armies there for now. We gotta remember to get those armies out of there. When do we need to move our armies? Alright, so 2249. So 10 years from now. So 2248. We need to move our armies away. From here. Man, we just we can't settle anything. There are so few worlds. I mean, there's some places out here we can spread to. Like an ocean world we can go to. But, man, we are so limited. The other hive mind is not growing very fast either. Yeah, we're going to have to put some colony ships out there. But until then, what can we do? What did we get out of this? Okay, we have our fleet. Let's send our fleet back home to Gur. That's first thing. Home fleet. Go home. Okay. Let's look over here at this. I know it suddenly slowed down, but we won the war. I mean, now we have to just take stock. So what do we get out of this? We got a little bit of minerals. We're going to lose all of these. These stations are going to disappear. We have a research station. Yeah, that won't all matter. We got this. But this will disappear because we're going to lose sovereignty over all this space. Because we have no way to terraform. And we have no way to plant new colonies. 
If we could build a colony ship and, and put it somewhere here to anchor ourselves, it'd be awesome, but we just don't have that. Now the good news is, is that our energy crisis will go away in 10 years, and we have enough energy to survive that. That's not a problem. Here's what we need to do. Are all of these set to remove all the, the, the spots first? No. Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna clear out all these blockers. Might as well. Really don't care. Okay, that's all being cleared out. These need cleared out. Actually, do I want to do that if in 10 years I'm going to lose? No, if in 10 years I'm going to lose these places, let's not make these better for the next person. Oh, once you say that, it just happens. Never mind. Well, that was a mistake. Okay, no biggie. So, we can't really do much here. So, if we can't make use of any of these colonies at all, let's go ahead and set up a sector. Create a new sector, and we call this sector... Are these four places here? Ooh, what's this? At least one of your sectors is missing resources. That's that's fine. I don't care. There we go. Alright, this whole sector here. We are going to rename this sector. As the bread basket. Oh, why is Caps Lock on? There we go. Whoa! The bread basket. Or, oh, we'll just call it the mucus pits. There we go. So what's happening is we are throwing everybody into the mucus pits and eating them. They are filling our coffers with food which is great. So now that we've done that, let's also tell this sector that I want everything. They're gonna give us all their credits. I don't want the sector to build anything. I don't care what happens to this sector because in 10 years, everything here is going to disappear from our empire. Which means we need to focus on Moving over here. We need to find some more planets to inhabit. Ooh, there's another one of them cool stars I love. Look at that. Alright. So, that means we're going to focus back on colonizing. Which means colony ships galore. We have our fleet, which we're going to boost up enough to wipe out any of these space amoebas that are in our way. We'll wipe them out and we will start colonizing in this direction because I see a couple places. Again, we've got one here. We've got one here. One here. We've got a couple places where... Oh, there's another one down here. Uh, Dasa 4 is uh, colonizable. So if we go ahead and start colonizing this way, yeah, we'll be able to grow our empire... And now that we've wiped out one of the other empires, that's awesome. Alright, so, that's going to be the plan going forward. We're going to have to definitely, definitely do some expansion. So, that's going to be happening in the next couple episodes of Gaming with Grug. I want to say to everybody, thanks for watching. Grr, is, oh, Grr, why are you not, not upgraded? Upgrade all this. Thank you. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Please tell your friends. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, as always, the great mucus hopes to see you soon.